Welcome to Run Any Local Application from BC Web Client. Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a trick so we can actually interact with local installed applications from the BC Web Client. One of the things that we lost when we went away from the Windows Client was the ability to easily interact with local applications that are installed on our PC. And it's still not perfect, but we do have some options. And I want to show you one of these options um, in this video. So the option we're exploring is called a protocol handler. And um, the way a protocol handler works is very simple. If here is here's a web browser. And normally we type, you know, we type www.google.ca or www.hogart.com, um, stuff like that, and we get a web page. But what actually happens is that there's an implied protocol. So I could type http colon slash slash and then uh, an address. Then I'm telling the application to use that specific protocol and make sure to use the application that are registered to use that protocol. Um, in this case, I'm typing it into the browser and the browser is already registered to handle uh, HTTP. But if I do Windows R, and I move it into the screen and then I type HTTPS colon slash slash hogart.com. So now I just type a URL into Windows in the run address. What will happen is that Windows will figure out what application is registered to handle this protocol and then pass along the parameter to that application happens to be the browser and we get into my homepage again. Um, you have probably over the last year and a half received emails with a uh, Microsoft Teams uh, URL or Zoom URL or stuff like that. And when you click on that, you're eventually getting redirected to the local application. Um, and it's the exact same thing. So what we can do is that we can create our own protocol. It's not something that's uh, only for the uh, privileged big uh, IT companies. You can create your own. And I've done that. So the way you do that is in the registration editor. Good old reg edit. Um, and this is, uh, I can zoom. I installed a new zoomer here. That works fairly well. So what we need to do is that we need to go into HKey classes root. And in here, if I tap the set key, we can see that uh, we got the Zoom stuff in here. So this is why you can run uh, the local Zoom application from uh, from a link. Um, I have created my own, and it's somewhere in the R's. Uh, let's see how many R's we have. That's not that many. It, wrapped on me before I had a chance to stop typing the R. I call it run from BC. Why not? And what I have done in here is that I have registered that this is a protocol and I added a shell open command here. The shell open command I added is to a executable called run from bc.exe and you can see the percentage one means that uh, the whatever parameter is passed will be shown uh, will be sent to the application so what is run from bc.exe well that is in reality these 16 lines of c sharp here um, so those 16 lines of c sharp um, well, just create a small exe file that writes out hello business central and then it writes out all the parameters that has been passed to it and it waits for us to hit a key. So if I run this now, 
it opens up on a different screen, but we can solve that. Hello, Business Central, and it waits for me to press the key. Well, let's get the debug running. There we go, and it's done. Um, so if I now go to Windows R again, and I say run, run from B, and you can see I already tried this a bit before. It, it ran, and we can see that we're actually getting the 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 string that was passed uh, in here. So that's pretty good. So we can do that. So how do we use this from Business Central? Well, it's fairly simple. I have started a new small app here, and let's just take the hello world, and instead of a trigger, then let's uh, add a, an action. Um, add first, because of how we fly in processing. Uh, action, open external, and caption equal open external. Application area, of course, we're not savages. Uh, trigger on action and so how do we do this well we can simply go and say hyperlink and run from bc colon and then after that we pass our parameter so we could um we are we're in customer list so we could let's pass the customer name So let's run this and see what happens. Oh, we need to log in again. Security, we love it. Come on, BC. Excellent. What did we put it? Open external. I hit open external. This side is trying to open run from BC. Yeah, please, let's do that. Okay, and then it opened on another screen, but we can solve that. Hello, Business Central. Let's actually see if we can do processes here. Then let's do something that's readable for you guys somehow. So we got Hello Business Central, we got parameters run from BC colon a datum percentage 20 corporation. So we're, we're creating a URL. So if we, we if we want to really make something out of that. We need to get the good old HTTP utility and decode URL. And, and let's decode this one to URL. And I need to compile this one again. Build succeeded. And we can try running this one. This one more, yes, open please. And it opened on another screen, but here it is. Nicely formatted. So what are the limitations of this? Well, there are some limitations. So let's see what we can do here. Let's just for fun, try to create a perm. That's a text variable and let's pass that one instead. So we could start by Oh, we can use the good old trick, format, rec. Um, then let's just for palm length, and then do string length palm here. This is not true because it, this will be URL encoded. So, uh, so but let, let's see what happens. 
And I don't think we can pass a pre-encoded parameters uh, to hyperlink. I think that will get double encoded. That's an interesting. So, so 857 characters. And we can see on the other screen here that well, we got, well, we certainly got a lot of data here. Um, let's, uh, let's change this one a bit. And do a console, wow, the right line, parameter length, here and then we'll do uh, s.length length because that's the raw data we're actually getting over. Uh, so that's probably the good one to to tell. Or maybe we should do decoded equal number one, and then we just. We're just sloppy here because we got so many CPU cycles to spare. So we're just decoding it twice. Living on the edge. Oh, we're not really. We all succeeded. Let's try this one again. Open external. Yes. So we're getting 857, but in reality, we're getting 1,291 decoded. Oh, I'm adding, oh, that was lobby, forgot the close parentheses, but decoded 867. So there's, well, that's of course the, the run from BC we're adding on top of that. That's exactly 10 characters. So we're getting everything we have here and it's encoded in so we're getting actually 1200 characters so can let's see what happens if we add more uh, where, where where is the limit um can we do can we do this so two records Deploying, deploying, come on, BC. Let's get rid of some of these old tabs here before I get confused. So action, oh, come on. Open external, open yes. We're sending 1714. And I did not get something on the other end so that was uh, too much so the let's uh, let's just be how about that that's uh that's 80 characters here I have no idea what the limit is. If I if I knew the limit, then I would just tell you instead of uh, spending video time on trying. But I'm actually not sure what the limit is. I, I know there is a limit. Um, and my guess is that it was 2K, but that's really just a, a random guess. So that worked. So 1300, not a problem. Um, so if I were right, then let's simply go with, that's another 80. Um, uh, something like this. This is very unscientific. Just copy pasting on screen. But uh, I hope you can uh, look past that. 
or we could spend time on creating a fancy loop that would build a string of whatever length we would like. But in reality, it's, it's, it's not important. So let's see if, if, if this number is fine, then we'll stop the video there. Otherwise, we'll stop the video anyway. Um, the number is clearly somewhere between 1300 and the double. If anybody wants to find the exact number, 1700 was too much. So now I'm doing one more just to uh, just to try it out. Anyway, this is a way to interact with local application. We have a limited, let's just say that it's the thousand plus bytes that you can pass to, uh, to an application. So you have enough to identify data. So now it worked with 1931 uh, decoded from 1500. I'm pretty sure that if I add another 80, then it will break. So actually let's just go back here because now Curious. So if I add one here, let's see how it goes. Then, so if you haven't noticed, my videos are recorded live. There's no editing going on here. So what you see is what's actually happening. Uh, I have a pile of videos that it's never going to see the day of light because they were just fails. Uh, but but we're trying here. So this one actually still worked. So so let's just say that we can at least use fifteen hundred characters, uh, and then apparently around seventeen hundred it failed. So I'm good with that. So what you can do, and then this was what I was trying to say that that there's enough data to pass stuff if you need to interact with like a label printer or, or something else. An alternative is that you can actually pass enough information to the receiving application to construct a, a uh, web service call and then call back into BC and get whatever data it needs. Um, there is also another trick and, and I was thinking about it while I was setting the up for the video and but uh, so in reality what we could do um, is that we could download from stream hyperlink and then we know where the receiving application needs to know where the download folder is but that's kind of known on most PCs so you can go and grab the data from the download folder and use that uh, that could also be a cool trick let me know in the comments below if you have other ideas for this um, I, I can I can certainly see that there are some things that we could do that's pretty cool, um, but um, at least these are the components. So we need to the reg edit. We need to have a receiving application. I've seen several examples out on on the interwebs uh, using proof of concept that's just using cmd.exe, and that works to a certain degree. But the parameter passing part of it is really, really spooky because you only have one parameter and, and it's including itself and all that stuff. Um, so I, my preferred solution is just have a small receiving application that also will prevent security issues because then you have control of the entire chain. So whatever is passed into your own executable, you can validate that that's what you want and, and know what you're going to do with it. Anyway, that's this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.